our Lord. Jesus Christ. What? You were old, my dear. You is love, huh? But what did you just find out you was? You just found out you're an Israelite. Oh, you believe you're an Israelite? You, did you not come up here on them slave ship? So you're an Israelite, right? Hey, 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 let me ask you something. Is Islam, is it a nationality or is it a religion? Religion. So are you Islam or are you an Israelite? Give me her back. Give me her back. That's right. What are you? You're an Israelite. So what are you doing? You following a religion, right? That's right. You following something man-made. That's the main thing. God is saying that we're a wicked generation. Right. 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 We're wicked. We don't keep his commandments. No. And so, hey, when them commandments come out, these laws come out, do you hear it? Do you take heed to those things? You had a question, brother? Yes, sir. What's your question? Hey, my brother, I, I want to ask you. Uh, I know y'all, brother, y'all, y'all read the real word and the good word. Right. Okay. How can we read it if we don't have access to it? You don't have a Bible? That's the Bible. Right. That's this the Bible. This is yeah. give me Isaiah 34, 16. This is, uh, uh, this is the Bible. I read it all the time. I this is the King James Version. Read it. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Bring it out. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. And read. This is the book of the Lord, brother. This is the book of the Lord. Oh, coming right. out this Bible. So all you have to do is seek out this book. Right. And read it. Read. No one of these shall fail. From Genesis to Revelation, this Bible will not fail you. This is the book that gives you wisdom and knowledge. Right. All, right. all you have to do is I come back and start you reading. Read. read. None shall want her mate. You ain't gonna be able to yeah, compare no other book to this Bible. That's right. right. For my mouth it has commanded. Now our mouth. For my mouth it has commanded. The Most High gave this word. You understand? The Most That's High gave right. this word. These are the words of God. That's That's right. These are the words of God. Now we got to do is come back and you know what? And live by this word. Live by these words. That's right. all we have to do. Stop going by our own interpretation, our own understanding, but lean on the word of God. Right. Oh, let, me, let me bring this verse up. Okay, head, head. Baruch chapter 4 okay, verse head, 1. Head. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. What he's reading out of right now is the Apocrypha, the 14 books that they took out the Bible. Right. So we know what he's reading out of that. You never seen it because they took it out. They didn't, they didn't want you to know. But you get it. King James 1611, the original King James, and it has this in it. Read it again. This is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endureth forever. How long does the law endure? Forever. The laws of God. The rules that God gives us to follow. They endure forever. Read. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. So we got to come back to God's laws and come back to life. Come That's back to right. who we were meant to be, which were kings on this earth. Right. We were gods right. on this earth. We weren't meant to be no one's servant. We weren't meant to be slaves here in America. Right. That's right. Right. We were meant to be ruling this earth and ruling these other nations. Right. That's That's right. Right. What happens when we leave God's laws? He yeah. put us in captivity. He put the children of the so-called blacks, the Spanish, Native Americans, he put us serving the other nations because oh, we didn't right. want to keep God's laws. Right. 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 Finish that up. But such as leave it shall die. And that's where we at. We're in a dead state right now. We're in a dead state right now. Mentally dead. We're at the bottom of society. Right. And right. what was your question, brother? You had a question? Yeah. What's the question? I know we I'm saying we go, we were slaves. Right. They came slaves. over there and they, 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 they got our ancestors and brought them over here. Uh, we still slaves today though. We ain't no, slaves. in our mind we are. Give me group three and eight. We ain't going to have to be like that. Let me ask you something. If we was free, would we not have our own land? Yeah, you got We wouldn't have down. our own government? Yeah. Wouldn't we be governing our own laws? Oh, that's right. That's why they came there and got you, because uh, I mean, they came no, there and got you. you, you they said, came, you they said, got the gold and the ivory and everything, because they wanted everything for us. You said we wasn't free. Uh, you said we were free. Because you know why? Because we the best. Free that. 
Boom, boom. Shot the three, first eight. Hey, 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 hey. Listen up, bro. Man, Listen up, bro. You, hey, you came up in this. Oh, you came up in the team. Oh, 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 Behold, oh, we are yet this day back, in our captivity. We are yet this what? This day I'm in our back, captivity. Baby. We are yet this day in our captivity. Read. Where thou hast scattered us. When the most high scattered us throughout this whole earth, we are in captivity. Read. For a reproach and a curse. And for a what? For a reproach and a curse. We serve in those curses that's in Deuteronomy 28. Those that's curses right. that we would get on those slave ships and come here to America. That's we right. serve in bondage. We serve in those things out. Read. Right. And to be subject to payment. Be subject to what? To payment. Do you not have to pay taxes on everything? Yeah, we yeah. subject to payments. We don't own a damn thing. Yeah, right. we, we call yeah. ourselves buying land, we'll never own it. We call ourselves buying a house, we'll never own it. Right. And if you don't pay them taxes, guess right. what? They're going to take it right back from you. Right. So we still slaves today yeah. in this society. But that's that why they came over there. That's why they came over there. Guess what? That's why they came over the ship and got us over there. Let me break down some. We already been in the land of milk and honey. Let me break some down too. Kick us to the land of milk and honey. We was already in the land of milk and honey. It could, hold on, hold on. Where you think the land of milk and honey was at? Huh? Yeah. That we was at? Now, hey, what is our homeland though? Because they picked well, us up in Africa. That make us, does that make us our homeland? Hmm? Give, give us the homeland, buddy. Where, your, where your homeland at? I mean, we're going to get it to you right now. Earth, Listen bro. up closer. Yo! Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Hello. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. Now I got to say after. But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem. Which is above is free. Read. Which is the mother of us all. That's right. right. What? The mother of us all. Jerusalem right. is the motherland. Right. That's right. Hey. The children of Israel, Jerusalem is our land. That's right. right. That's our land. We, had, we ran into Africa running from the wrong. Right. They Bring picked us up there, put us on those slaves. You know, but that did not make any? Africa our land. What they did was, had, well, hey, what they did was lie to you to make you. Then they had Caesar up there. Hey, give me John 32. No, no, no. You go <laughs> listen. John you go I'm listen. I'm gonna listen to it. Cat Daddy, you, you had a question. <laughs> what was your question? Uh, you gonna yes. Listen. I'm gonna yeah, then, then he had you had Caesar. Listen, Mama. You had questions on your face. I'm on it. Man, this big thing is long ways. That y'all lie to him because you're giving people the knowledge. Give me that. I done been, she done, done been wrong, but I, that's why I come out to hear the truth. Right. Come out here too. A lot of them can sit back if they want them, but they know. But I know the truth. Hey, sis. I know y'all giving the just like it is. Hey, I'm gonna, hey, I want you to hear this verse right quick. Go ahead, just take one minute. One minute, one minute. Hey, guess what? You in captivity, that's why you gonna go to a job. But if you wanted to know the truth, read that. Bring it out. John chapter eight, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. Our people don't want to hear the truth. They're gonna walk up and down the street, going to serve their slave mouth. That's who they fear, right. to be late to a job to be late to go serving their master. But to hear the word of God, they can care less they about it. Yeah, God said right. what? You should do what? And ye shall know the truth. You should know the truth and what? And the truth shall make you free. It'll make you free from having to serve that slave master. Right. 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 They don't want to be free. Our people love captivity. Right. They love being a slave. Right. They love this life they in right now. Because they wanted to change, guess what? They're yeah, coming to learn these laws. Yeah, they're That's coming right. to learn these laws. They change. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if you ain't, I'm going to tell you something. Y'all out here on this block, out here on these corners every single week. Right. The minute you really want to change your life and change your condition, you're going to come and learn these laws. Yeah, that's, right. That's, right. That's, that's right. Hey, that's bro, right. let me ask you a question. You know your nationality? Bring it up. What's your nationality? African American. You're African American, right? Let me ask you something. Was that named after the people that you came from? Or was that named after a white man? Yeah. A white man. So, so would you say that's your nationality? Let me teach you who you are according to the Bible. Yeah. Because who we are according to the Bible is something special. Give me Deuteronomy 7. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what they had never taught you. That yeah. who you are. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it up. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So, you, hey, you know Moses, right? You know, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel. 
Exactly. Now go back to Deuteronomy 20, 15. So I'm no. establishing who Moses was speaking to, to the children of Israel. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So he's saying if we did not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he said, if you don't keep my law, statute, commandments. Yeah, you read. got to keep the commandments. That all these curses. All these what? All these, these curses. curses. So it's a yeah, curse, good thing, or a bad thing? Yeah. It's a bad thing. So he said, all this evil all is going to do what? Curses. Shall come upon thee yes, and overtake thee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he said, all these curses are going to overcome us and overtake us. Read. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy Lord God. Verse 46. Verse oh. 46. And they shall be upon thee. So he said, these curses are going to be upon you yeah. for a sign. For a what? For a sign. Hey, you know how you know you're out here on Sumter Street? It's by what? A sign, right? So he's saying, these curses are going to be upon you for a sign. Read. And for a wonder, Read. and upon thy seed forever. So he says it's going to be upon your children's children's children forever. You understand? Right. Give me verse 68. Verse no. 68. Let me ask you a question. How did we get here to America? Oh, uh, shit. Sure. Let me ask you something. Do you believe that uh, uh, the story of us coming to America on slaves is in the Bible? You don't believe that? Bring it on. Bring it to you there. Verse 68. And the Lord oh. shall bring thee. So remember, he said these curses gonna be upon you for a sign. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now the word Egypt means bondage. What's another word for bondage? Captivity. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ship. With what? With ship. How we got over here again, brother? I'm By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. He said we will not see our homeland again. Read. And there, right here in America, ye shall be sold. We be what? Be sold. Were we not sold on them auction blocks? No. Read. No. No. To your enemies. No, to our friends. Your enemies. The white man is our friend. Your enemies. What is the white man? He is your enemy. No. 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 Read. For bondmen. For what? For bondmen. For slave men. And bond women. Hey, and slave women. Because our women are to think they above the men. Hey, they got sold right in captivity also. Read. And no man shall buy you. Did anybody come to save us out of our captivity? Exactly. We still here in captivity. All right. All right. And who did that happen to? The children of Israel. Bro, hey, bro. If you see yourself on this sign right here, look. Right here on the left is what the white man called you. African American. That's, what you, that's, that's right. what you identified yourself. But what do God call you? Judah. That's so right. the next time somebody asks you your nationality, you tell them you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Oh, you, say right. that, you say that proudly, because that's who you are. Right. Hey, right. Because I'm going to tell you, it's a disgrace when you call yourself an African American. That's right. Right. Hey, you naming yourself after two white men. That's you know right. what I mean? So claim your, claim your true nationality. And I'm, hey, matter of fact, you know where else comes from uh, the tribe of Judah? Need to hear that. I, you know who else comes from the tribe of Judah? I need to hear that. The greatest man that ever walked the earth. Hey, right. I, yeah. brother, I say you. Read, get that. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Read it out. For it is evident. It is quite clear. Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Who is our Lord? Yeah, Jesus Lord. Christ. Uh, what? You were old, my bitch. Who is love, huh? But what did you just find out you was? You just found out you're an Israelite. Oh, you sweet. believe you're an Israelite? You, did you not come up here on them slave ships? Oh, so you're an Israelite, right? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Let me ask you something. Is Islam, is it a nationality or is it a religion? Religion. So are you Islam or are you an Israelite? Bring it out. Give me her back. Give me her back. That's her right. That's right. What are you? Yeah, Israelite. You're an Israelite. So what are you doing? You following a religion, right? That's right. You following something man-made. 
Let's find out what God said about this religion. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 18. Bring it out. What profit is the graven image? He said, What profit the graven image? Read. That the maker thereof has graven it. Let me ask you something. When they, when they over there in Mecca, they have to make that pilgrimage. And they have to pray around that cobblestone. Where is the cobblestone? Walk of faith. It's a meteorite. It's a meteorite. Right? Read. The molten image and a teacher of lies. It's a what? Teacher of lies. It's a right. teacher of lies. Read. Read. That the maker of his work trusted therein. And you trusted in Islam. You trusted in them last day was telling you. Read. To make dumb idols. Read. Woe unto him that saith to the wood. Woe means destruction. Read. Awake. To the dumb stone. Oh, wait, to the what? To the dumb stone. Yeah, that rock right. can't answer your prayer. Right. Right. That rock can't tell you your nationality. Yeah. That right. rock can't get you out the state you're in right now. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bring you understand out. that? You understand that? This is the book that's your that was written by your forefather. That's right. 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 Telling you your history. Telling you how to come out of the condition that you're in right now. That's right. And that's what I'm going to show you something. Give me uh, Malachi 27. I'm going to show you something very simple. How we reverse this trend that we're in right now. You know? Because God gave us the knowledge to, uh, to come out this condition. That's right. Do you, are you ready to learn this knowledge? Read. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Read it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. He says so the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law. They should seek the what? The law. They should seek the what? The law. Now a dumbass rock. The law. A dumbass rock, brother. The law. They should seek the laws at his mouth. Why? For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So as you look around you, you see the true messengers of God, we're gonna teach you the laws of God. That's right. Because right. the laws of God is what's gonna uh, save you out your condition. Matter of fact, it's gonna convert you from being a wicked individual into a righteous person. That's you right. understand that? That's what the laws do. Matter of fact, give me that song, um, like you said. It, that's what converts you. Because let me ask you something. You got a girlfriend? Married? Yeah. You don't have sex with that woman? Let me ask you something. What does that, what does the Bible call it? When you, call it what? It's called fornication. It's called fornication. Matter of fact, before you get that, give me, uh, no, give me, give me, uh, first question. Let me ask you something. Can fornicate, fornicators give it to the king? Bring it up. That can't, huh? You all know? Let's no, find no, out. No. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. Bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? So he said the unrighteous won't inherit the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived. Be not deceived what? Neither fornicator. Neither what? Neither fornicator. Having sex without marriage is fornication. So he said, be not deceived, neither fornicators. Bring it out. Nor idolaters. People that worship rocks. Nor adulterers. People that commit adultery. Nor effeminate. Free. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's talking about homosexuality. Read. Nor thieves. Read. Nor covetous. Read. Nor drunkards. Read. Nor revilers. Read. Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. You won't get in, bro. But you got to change. Let me, let, me show, let me show you what you must do. He go a lot. Give me Hebrews. Uh, I'm gonna show you what you gotta do. You having sex with that woman, you gotta marry that woman. You gotta Why marry that woman. Right. Why? Well, yeah, you just said sure. neither fornicators yeah, shall give it to the king. We're gonna, we gonna find out. Right. Hebrews Please. chapter 13, verse 4. Get that, get that, get no. Marriage. Marriage is what? It's honorable. Marriage is honorable. No, marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled. You hear that? He said marriage is honorable. It's not honorable. Honorable. That commitment. Right, right. How long you stay in that? Forever. Sometimes. Yeah, I, well, I don't about, see people we stand up We ain't talking about, we ain't talking about oh, what you're no, no, learning this, this is world. Hey, give me some. Oh, go ahead. We ain't talking about this world. Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. So when he says sometimes, when he says, hey, everybody don't stick together, keep in mind, our people weren't going by the laws. 
Right. But he said what? The law of the Lord is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. So it's going to convert that wicked individual to a oh, righteous person. Right. But guess what? That man will stay with that woman right. and keep God's law. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just going to lay out with your sister and just sleep with her. Oh, You're going to make that woman honorable. You ain't going to let her be a whoremonger. You ain't going to be a whoremonger. Right. You understand? Let me ask you something. Do you believe in this word? Do you believe in the Bible now? Are you, are, are, let me ask you something. Did Islam ever tell you who you were? That you was Israelite. That you must keep God's law. Let me talk, let me ask you something. Do you think Islam and his Bible, God and his Bible, the same? You do? Some joy of 227. No! What? I said they correlate. You think they correlate? So you think the God of the God of Abraham, God Isaac, and Jacob Bible, is also the yes, God sir. of no, no, the Muslims, no, no, sir. right? I say that. I said they call it. Let's find out. Joel, shout out to God. This Bible give you law, statute, commandment. Right. What did Allah give you? Allah. No, I asked you what did He give you? What did He give you to follow? What did He give you to follow? The Quran and the Holy Bible. Yeah, but what did He give you to follow? Bring it out. Read that again. Joel, chapter let's two. Find, let's find out if they're the same. Verse Yo, 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Now in the midst of the Arab. In the midst of Israel. In the midst of all the other nations. In the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. What? The Lord your God. That's that right. is yours not possessing. That's right. It's yours possessing. I said, this is your uh, book. Is that yours? He said, I'm the Lord, your God. Read. And none else. What? And none else. Say that one more time. I am the Lord, your God, and none else. He said, he the Lord, our God, and no one else. That's, That's right. right. Give me the uh, uh, Psalms 147, verse 19. This is the Lord, our God. That's you right. And there's only, the, only two prophets are the children of Israel. Right. That's right. And the only children of God are the children of Israel. That's right. right. He said, I'm the Lord your God and no one else. Read that. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Bring it up. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Jacob is the forefather of these 12 tribes. The right. forefather. He said, I showed the words to Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He gave those laws to the children of Israel. Read. Right. He has not dealt so with any nation. He ain't never dealt with any other nation. Right. Right. Read. Right. And as for his judgments. For the judgments for breaking those laws. Read. They have not known them. They have not known them. Because I'm going to ask you something. And it's are they at the bottom of society? Are the Arabs at the bottom of society? They got oil fields. Right. Right. They got their own land. Right. Right. What you got? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Right. 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 You, how are they at the bottom of society? They not, are they? They ain't matter of fact, they come to your neighborhood and set up stores in your neighborhood. Right. 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 Do they right. not? Do they not set, do they get grocery stores in your neighborhoods? Right. Do they not set up gas stations in our neighborhood? That's right. right. Where yours at? Where's ours? Bring it out! Oh, the damn thing. That's right. Hey, brothers, brother, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Get Jeremiah, Jeremiah 3 and 2 right quick. Bring it out! Bring it out! Because you actually, you actually, it's time talking about you a Muslim walking around claiming to be a Muslim, right? But you an Israelite though, right? Okay, you saying that, but isn't the prophet Muhammad kin to Abraham? Is he kin to him? Yes. Okay, in what way? All right, you said he had Jacob and Ishmael, right? Uh-huh. He had, he had who again? Jacob and Ishmael. Right? Mm, who, who come from Abraham? Uh, mm, who come from Abraham? Bring it up! Yeah, who, uh, oh, Isaac and who? Now you're talking about Ishmael. Where did the, where did, well, who was chosen out of them two? Was it, was it Ishmael or was it Isaac? Bring it up! Which one? Huh? Say what? Give me Galatians 4 and uh, 22, I believe it is. Right. Give me Galatians Bring 4 and 22. Bring it out! You got it? 
Galatians Three. chapter 4, verse 22. Read it out. For it is written uh -huh. that Abraham had two sons. Uh -huh. The one by a bondmaid. The, the one by a bondmaid, by the slave woman. Free. The other by a free woman. By, by a free woman, which was who? That was his wife, Sarah, right? Read. But he who was of the bond woman. But he who was of the bond woman, Ishmael, read. Was born after the flesh. After the flesh. Right. He was not chosen. Right. Read. Right. Right. But he of the free woman. Of the free woman, Sarah, read. Was by promise. By promise. That's right. Because Abraham had already been promised that, it would, that he would actually have a covenant from God that it would follow through his lineage. And it went through Isaac. Then Jacob, right, right. Israel. Give me Jeremiah 3 and 2. Go back to where we were saying. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 2. Read. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places uh -huh. and see what thou hast not been lying with. Uh huh. In the ways hast thou sat for them. Uh huh. In the ways have thou sat for them. Read. As the Arabian. As the who? The Arabian. Our people were sitting over there in the sub Sahara slave trade. What following the same thing, the same people that put us in slavery. Oh, the right. same thing we doing today. We in America today following after their religion. Oh, we right. were in sub Sahara slave trade, the Arabian sold us following after their religion. Oh, right. Same thing. You're following all of that, just like my people there today. Same day. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 32, 16. 32, 16. Because yeah. you're walking around claiming you're a Muslim. You're not a Muslim, brother. You're an Israelite that's lost. That's right. Get out. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 16. Uh -huh. They provoke him to jealousy. Uh-huh. So, so our people, we provoke God to jealousy because right. we want to follow other gods. Right. Like what you're doing. Read. With strange gods. With strange gods. Gods that have nothing to do with us. That's right. right. That's who you want to follow. You want to follow the God of an Arabian when you're not Arabian. That's right. 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 They sold you into slavery. That's right. Read. With abominations. With abominations. That rock that you talking about. What right. did you say that rock was? The rock of what? You said it earlier. What did you call it? You said it was rock of what? Because he asked you about the rock. rock you said, a rock of faith. How in the world is a rock of faith? That's right. That rock is not the rock of faith. Right. Your faith should be built on Christ, but instead you believe in a rock that can't do nothing. That's right. It. You, is that it on that? Read. With abominations provoke they him to anger. So that's why the Most High put us in slavery in the first place, because we want to go off and follow other stuff. Read on. They sacrifice unto devil. That is a devil. You are sacrificing your life to that devil. Right, right. Because instead of you following what the Bible says, because you're supposed to give your body as a service unto God, right, but instead right. you give it to a rock. That's a devil. That's right. Read. Not to God. Not to God. Read on. To gods whom they knew not. You didn't know those gods. Our right. forefathers did not know those All gods. Right, Abraham right. didn't know that God. Right. Isaac didn't know that God. Jacob didn't know that God. Oh, but you right. follow him though. Read. Right. To new gods. New gods. The, the Islam religion came up, what, 600 years after Christ died? Right. Then you follow that? That was after. This right here was always there, but instead you go and say, I'm a Muslim. That's right. Right. Is that it on that? That came newly up. That came newly up. It's a new God, meaning it's false. Right. Read. Whom your fathers fear not. Your fathers didn't fear them gods because that rock can't do nothing. It can't answer a prayer. You right. believe on a God, it can't raise you up out of here. Right. Well, the white man gave that. No, the white man didn't write this book. Right. 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 The right man did not write this book. King James was not a white man. Matter of fact, what did Paul look like? Matter of fact, what did, because y'all believe in the Torah, right? Is that right? What did Moses look like? What did he look like? They just, this a white man gave it to us. Let's find out what Moses looked like because he wrote the Torah, am I right? Let's believe in. Let's read it. You got Exodus, it? Exodus chapter, chapter two, two, let's get it. Verse 16. Read. Now the priest of Midian uh -huh. has seven daughters. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. Read on. And they came and drew water. And they came to draw water because they went out every day. They went and drew water. Read on. And filled the troughs to water their father's flock. Uh huh. And the shepherds came. So, so these shepherds came to these women who actually went out here to give water to the flock. 
right? So these shepherds came, read. And drove them away. So they was running these sisters off so they couldn't actually do that. Running them off, read. But Moses. But Moses. Now remember that. It said, but Moses did what? Stood up and helped them. Uh -huh, so he helped them, right? So he made it where they could water the flock. He ran no. them, he ran them, them uh, shepherds off so they can leave them sisters alone. Read. Oh, and watered their flock. Uh -huh. And when they came to Reuel, their father. And when father, they came to Reuel, they father. So these sisters came home to their pops. Read. He said, how is it that you all come so soon because today? Because they came back a little earlier than usual. So he was like, what the heck are y'all doing back so fast for? Yo. Read. And they said, an Egyptian. And they said, an Egyptian. But we read that Moses helped them, right? But they said, an Egyptian. Did what? Delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. But they said an Egyptian delivered them out of the hands of the shepherd. What did the Egyptians look like? Were they white, so-called? Were they black? So therefore, the Moses of that wrote the Torah was a so-called black man. No, 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 no. He would have been Haitian today. And you say that Earth, white bro. man wrote the Bible when That's he wrote right. the, the same Torah y'all teach. Bro. Unbelievable. Man, get, 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 hey, hey, go. hey, bro. Let me, thank you, hey, my bro. Oh, you go, bro. Thank you, Let me sir, you bro. Give me uh, first three, three, and seven. Thank you, sir. Hey, check this out. Thank hey, you, look, God even bless you. Even if you say you believe, I'll all right. Thank you. And you, and you say, hey, even if you thought they were the same. Let me, let me, what do we say about smoke? Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? He said, know that you're not, that you're the temple of God? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of the Most High dwells inside you. Read. If any man defile the temple if of God. If any man do what? Defile the temple of God. Taking that smoke, breathing that smoke into your temple, that defiles it. Read. Right. Him shall God destroy. Now he'll bless it. Shall God destroy. Right. He will destroy. That's right. So understand something. You walking off right now, you not yeah, you offended by what the word say? The same what you say you believe? Guess what? You are no true believer, bro. You ain't no true believer. No, you just sat there and said out your own mouth that you was an Israelite. And guess what? We giving you knowledge to rule the earth. Hey, right. But right. that's right. your mistake. To the Bring earth. Up. The same people that enslaved your people. Right. right. The right. same people that enslaved our people. That's still enslaving our people today. Right. right. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.